Hi and welcome to Vulcan from Zero to Hero. In this section, we are going to draw our first triangle. In this video, we are going to create a window. Welcome to the second section of Hands of Graphics Programming with Vulkan API. This section is critical because we are going to create a framework that will initialize Vulkan API. First, create an empty Visual C++ project and let's name it Drawing Triangle. And let's go to the precompiler header and then check if your Visual Studio version is 10 or later. Then it's better to write Pragma once at the beginning for each header and then define your header. Open configuration manager of your project. Let's change the architecture of your project to 64 bit and then make sure to check Windows SDK version. Set it to the latest version and go to the C++ tab. We want to use precompiler header. Let's name it pch.h and select pch.cpp and make sure to change this option to create precompiler header. Apply it and repeat it for the release mode. Let's get back to the code. Go to the pch.cpp and make sure to include pch.h and in main.cpp include pch.h. Okay, let's include the necessary headers in precompiler header. Add our stream and let's create an entry point for the application. I mean the main function. I'm going to output hello into the console. Let's test it and build it. And as you can see, everything is okay. I've got hello in console. I want the executable files to be placed exactly here in the bin folder. So Open properties again and in output directory, make sure to select all configurations and then change output directory to your specific path that you want. Let's build it again and this time you can see the executable files are placed in the right path. I'm going to use some codes from Wolf Engine to help me create the window in our project. So I will put them here. Also, you can use other frameworks such as GLFW in order to create window. It's up to you. And make sure to change your subsystem setting to the Windows mode. We need to set additional include directories. The first folder is source folder. You can check the exact path from evaluated value. Also, you need to add Vulkan include directory from Vulkan SDK. And we need to set additional library directory same as before.
Actually, it's best to indicate your paths from your solution directory. Let's build our project again. And as you can see, we've got error because subsystem was set to the Windows mode. And we have to change our entry function. So let's type here. If we are going to build our code with Windows, we have to create a specific entry point. And if we are building our codes on Linux or Mac OS, we can use an old code. We still got problem because we didn't set preprocessor macros. Let's add our necessary headers from Wolf to the PCH header. and then make sure to set preprocessor macros from project properties. In debug mode, set debug, Win32, and Unicode. Now compile it. You can see we still have error because these errors are different from the previous ones. It means that we fixed the last errors. This error says that the V function identifier was not found. We need to set some macros in this header based on your operating system. We need to add a specific defines. On iOS or Mac OS, you are using Molten VK, so change KHR to MVK.
make sure include Volkan.hpp from Volkan SDK. Let's compile it again. And we still got problem. Let's implement validation function. The first parameter is type of VK result and the second one is type of bool. If the value is true, the application has to terminate. And the final parameter is the message which will be sent to the output. If the result is VK success, the function should return void. Else on Windows, we are going to output message via output debug string function. Well, this should be const car pointer. And on Linux or Mac OS, simply send the debug message to the console with cout function. If the user wants to terminate program, just call SCD exit. I think this time our codes will be compiled successfully. Let's try it. And yes, everything is okay. I'm going to use W underline window class in order to create a window. First include necessary name spaces, SCD and Wolf. Create a static instance from W window and let's call it S window. First, make sure to create an instance from W window because we declared it as a unique pointer, so we need to use make unique function in order to allocate memory for it. First, set size of the window. I mean width and height.
on Windows platform, the initialize function needs a message procedure function. So I'm going to create it in order to handle Windows messages. The first parameter should be type of Windows handle. I mean HWND. The second one is window message ID. And third and final one should be low and high value of param. Set it as an input parameter of initialize function. Here we can check message ID. If the message ID is equal to quit or exit, window should close. call def window procedure and pass the parameters to it. Time to show our window. In release function, we should release our window instance. This macro function is implemented in I underline releasable header of Wolf. We need to link Vulkan header, so add Vulkan dash one dot lib as an additional dependencies of our project. Let's build it and everything is okay. And I'm going to debug it. And as you can see, our window is created. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to create a scene class.